Mike and I are standing here with the fourth item that's really important for your training. And a lot of times, uh, some shops never change these. But uh, Mike, mouthpieces, right? Yep. So why the heck do we want to change out or have people have their own personal mouthpieces? Well, I don't know. I guess probably because I wouldn't want to use your toothbrush. Yeah, and that's the key right there is we don't swap toothbrushes, so guess what? We don't swap mouthpieces. And the beauty is once you're done with the mouthpiece is it's yours, and you can take it off your regulator. Great place to keep it is in your mask box. Yeah, that's a really right? good spot Keep for it, it protected. So... Mike, let's take a look at the mouthpieces that we got here. That first one there, the blue one, that's known as a Secure. This is uh, probably the most expensive of the bunch, and it's a moldable mouthpiece, which means you're going to take that mouthpiece, hold it by the yellow uh, spacer that Mike's got, or by the little chain, and you can dip it down into hot water, just read the instructions and then put it in your mouth, shake the hot water off of it, of course, put it in your mouth, bite into it, and it forms to, to your mouth. Uh, now, we've got a black one here. This is uh, made by a different company, and this black one is also a moldable mouthpiece, and you can tell we're big on molded mouthpieces, and a lot of times people don't realize the benefit of a molded mouthpiece is that when you've got it in your mouth, there's very little effort to keep the regulator in your mouth. Right. I don't have to bite as hard as I used to, and, and I found that after I started using a molded mouthpiece that the other ones are uncomfortable to yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's one of these things people don't realize is that on this other one, which is a, a basic mouthpiece that normally comes on uh, all of these regulators pretty much a similar version and uh, so on this other one it's got a shorter uh, bite range on it and in addition uh, because it's got a shorter bite range on it you're having to bite on it with your teeth and uh, a lot of times people actually find it's it's harder to equalize when you're clamping down your teeth That's true. With, uh, with this particular mouthpiece. It's a little easier when you use the other ones. Now, we've got a little item here that looks like a little black worm. This is a zip tie. And of course, folks, it's extremely important that you uh, new scuba divers learn how to secure your mouthpiece on your regulator. Uh, you don't want to put a mouthpiece on not secure it, and then you're down there diving, turn your head real quick, you've got the mouthpiece in your mouth and the regulator's floating away from you. It kind of makes it, it tough to breathe down it there. Does. So you definitely want to become familiar with how to secure your mouthpiece on your regulator uh, with a zip tie. And it doesn't hurt to keep a little, a few extra uh, of those no you need kit. to have a couple of them in your and you can stick them right in your mask box with your mouthpiece yeah excellent take a look at the other videos that uh, that we've got here on the channel and look around when you're taking a look at mouthpieces you're going to see uh, videos about how to mold them we've got videos on specific like fitting the mask uh, fitting fins uh, computer, different computers and things like that. So we have a real, we're, we really want to have a great resource for you divers out there to uh, come in and uh, use our information, use our knowledge to increase your, your safety in your diving. And so, your comfort. Mike, appreciate it, buddy. As always. Had fun. Yeah, and we'll see you folks in the next video.